Military news, Caliban K, the Russian Kurs missile that shocked the world. The Caliban K Kurs missile system, billed as the sword of the Caspian even before it was ever used in combat, stands guard over the world's biggest lake and has the entire Mediterranean Sea, the Arabian Peninsula and the Persian Gulf in its crosshairs. A Russian frigate and three other Russian Navy destroyers launched 26 Caleb class Kurs missiles. For the Caspian Sea at 11 targets in Syria, the missiles traveled 1, 500 kilometers through Iranian and Iraqi airspace and struck the terrorist positions in Rakhar, Aleppo and Idlib provinces, reportedly destroying all. First launched in 2012, the Caleb Kurs missiles can travel 50 to 150 meters above the ground and hit sea targets up to 350 kilometers away and ground targets more than 2,500 kilometers away. The maximum deviation from the designated target is only 3 meters. The Caleb's export version, the Club K, does not fly that far but it has still caused jitters in the West with its ability to sneak up to its target when fired from railway refrigerator cars and containers on bulk carriers, hugging the ground with pinpoint accuracy and almost invulnerable due to its supersonic speed. The missile is a deadly weapon to be reckoned with. During a Barents Sea naval drill earlier this week submarine fired Caleb Kurs missiles hit their targets hundreds of kilometers away and once again with pinpoint accuracy. Two small missile ships, the Zelioni Dol and Serpukov, armed with Caleb missiles are currently undergoing trials in the Black Sea. It was the first real-world test of its Caleb land attack Kurs missile, a game-changer, making Russia a member of the elite club of countries. By launching its first combat strikes from a submarine, Russia demonstrated to the West that it now has the capability formerly monopolized by the US and its allies, the Caleb 3M54 NATO codename Zizla. SSN-30 is a long-range, low-flying Kurs missile capable of carrying conventional nuclear warheads. It has land attack anti-ship and anti-submarine variants. The missile has a second stage that performs a supersonic sprint in a terminal approach to the target, reducing the time the target's defense systems have to react. The caliber is designed to share common parts between the surface and submarine-launched variants. But each missile consists of different components, for example, the booster. The missile can be launched from a surface ship with a vertical launched system VLS and a booster. With thrust vectoring capability, the missile launched from a submarine torpedo tube can use a conventional booster instead. The air-launched version is held in a container to be dropped after the missile is fired. During its terminal phase, the missile locates its target through a mix of coordinates and onboard image recognition, essentially matching an uploaded image of the target to what the missile sees in front of it. If all goes to plan, the missile's one-pound payload of high explosive is then guided straight to the target for a violent impact. The Russian Kilo class, Lada class, Akula class, Jazan class, Boray class are the submarine launch platforms for the missiles. The Russian Admiral Gorshkov class. Admiral Grigorovich class Gepard class frigates are able to carry these missiles. The Russian Gremyashi class, by an M class, the second batch of Sterigushchi class corvettes are low displacement platforms with Caleb system ability. Also the Indian Talwar class frigate is another shipborne launch platform for the Caleb missile system. It's worth to note that Russia has launched its strikes from surface platforms much smaller than US. Long distance strike capable destroyers occurs is. This unique feature is especially important. This was not a missile seen as being normally carried by the corvettes, which had shorter range club missiles as opposed to the land attack version, said Brian Clark, a naval analyst with the Center for Strategic and Budgetary Assessments in Washington. According to the expert, the Caleb changes it from being a sea control ship to one with distributed lethality. The US has been aspiring to that but the Russians have shown they already have it. The operation was a good demonstration of the concept of distributed lethality. Clark noted, where weapons and senses do not need to be concentrated on a few large platforms but can be spread out to multiple units. We have a new class of ships that we're not equipping with anything that's like this missile. Bemoaned Clark, the US Navy should feel embarrassed that they let this happen. The Bayan Corvettes have a displacement of less than 1,000 tons at full load. 
For comparison, the US Ali Butte class destroyer has the displacement of 6,900 tons. The corvettes are small enough to operate in Russian rivers. The Volga, the Don, etc. The Volga and the tributaries form the biggest riverine system in Europe. The Moscow River is part of it. The Volga is connected to the Caspian Sea. The Bayan class corvettes based in the Caspian Sea can use the riverine ways to operate in different areas. Moscow is itself linked to this system through the Moscow Canal, which is why since 1947 it has called itself the Port of Five Seas, the Black Sea, the Caspian Sea, the White Sea, the Sea of Azov and the Baltic. Therefore, Russia has demonstrated a capability to launch waterborne cruise missiles from a vast expanse of the territory, probably from most regions of European Russia. The ship-borne long-range Caleb systems moving along the rivers don't violate the Intermediate Forces Treaty INF, which fans only ground-based intermediate-range missiles. The NATO missile defense sites in Romania and Hungary could be potential targets. It should be noted that, unlike the Western analogs, the Russian cruise missiles, even those developed years ago, are all supersonic to enhance their ability to penetrate the enemy's missile defenses. Since the Bayern Corvettes are highly mobile, it will be difficult to keep track of them. The appearance of the long-range club Ecalib cruise missiles and Russia's proven ability to launch them from small ships is therefore dramatically changing the military balance in Europe. We now see that these are new, modern and highly effective high-precision weapons that can be equipped either with conventional or special nuclear warheads. Russian President Vladimir Putin said about the missiles at the time. The Caleb missile is a weapon that has caused jitters in the West. The weapon is changing the calculus of the reach and effectiveness of smaller naval combatants and submarines. The use of Caleb during the Syrian conflict demonstrated that today Russia is second to none when it comes to long-range precision strike capability. Indeed, the export variant of the missile Club S is a success. India, Algeria, Vietnam, China have submarine launched mainly Kilo class Russia produced diesel submarines export versions of the system in their inventories. Iran is reported to negotiate to deal. The export variant has a maximum range of 220 kilometers.